Welcome to the 11th reading session. And um, personally, I'm enjoying this. And I hope there's a few people that watch these and, and maybe decide to read along or read uh, the Bible. And it's, uh, it's a text that um, basically has been around. We've translated. And the version that I'm reading is the uh, King James Version. Now we're going to go into chapter 10, and I think I'll treat chapter 10 a little bit differently because it's really about the generations, the sons of Noah. Um, and there's a lot of names and a lot of things, so I think I'll just sort of skip through it and pick up highlights. Let's go to the reading. Okay, this is on the King James uh, Bible.org site. Uh, the actual name of the website is www.kingjamesbibleonline.org. Okay, um, so in, in chapter 10, verse 1, it says, Now these are the generations of the sons of Noah, Shem, Ham, and Jabbath. And unto them were sons born after the flood. Now it goes through this, and uh, it starts with Jabeth and his sons. And it focuses on Gomer and Gomer's sons for two generations out. And then... Um, it talks about um, another one of Jabez's sons, Javil, in, in verse 4. And this goes on a bit, and the um, only reason I mention this is that in verse 5, it talks about the isles of the Gentiles divided in their, in their lands, and everyone after his tongue after their families and their nations. Um, it would be interesting to have a map. I think somewhere I did see a map that sort of mapped out where these different areas were and where the Isles of the Gentiles were in verse 5. Then it goes on and talks about the sons of Ham, and it uh, focuses in on first uh, the son Kush, or Kush, and Cush had sons and lists off a number of their sons. And Cush also in verse 8 begat Nimrod. Now, Nimrod's a major player, which uh, pops up several times in the Bible and uh, a lot of discussion about Nimrod. So, Nimrod is a direct descendant of, of Cush who was a direct descendant of Ham. And I can't remember right off the top of my head, but uh, there's some other really key players which will pop up. But Nimrod's a big one. And um, suggestion here that he was, he was a mighty hunter. He was a pretty big player. And um, 
and he was a mighty hunter before the Lord. Wherefore it is said, even as Nimrod, the mighty hunter before the Lord. So he was well known. Then it goes through and it talks about uh, the beginning of his kingdom, and I think it's referring to Nimrod, was Babel, and Erect, and Akkad, and Canal, or Calhan, and the, the land of Sinar. So again, it would be good to see, interesting to see a map of all of this. And, um, and it goes down, there's a lot of, a lot of names that, uh, being an English speaking, I would have difficulty pronouncing. Then um, I notice that it, in verse 17 and 18, it starts talking about the, the lands of uh, the Canaanites. And um, who was it? Canaan, Canaan was a direct descendant of, again, you almost need a flow chart to follow this. But anyway, uh, as a result of this, we get into the Canaanites in verse 19 in a very famous place, Sodom and Gomorrah. And that will pop up later on. Um, and apparently someone um, stated that they, they found uh, the ruins of Sodom and Gomorrah. And it goes on some more in verse 20 about the sons of Ham and uh, their tongues and countries and in their nations. Um, goes on some more. What's the other thing I saw here? This would be a, a chapter, I think, that would really need to be divided up. So it goes through and it shows the spread of all of the families. So this is a record of all of the families that supposedly populated, repopulated the earth. And the, in verse 31, it says, uh, these are the sons of Shem after their families and after their tongues. It keeps referring to tongues, different languages and lands. In any event, um, the wrap-up of uh, chapter 10 is verse 32, where it says, These are the families of the sons of Noah, after their generations in their nations, and by these were the nations divided in the earth after the flood. So just to keep in your back of your mind, or if you're making notes of this, chapter 10 is really a record of how the earth was repopulated and how the, the various, we'll call them tribes or, or languages. And the key player was in verse 8, Nimrod is mentioned specifically, and the city of uh, Gautam and Gomorrah, uh, Sodom and Gomorrah was mentioned in verse 19. Um, yeah, so that's it for, again, I, I didn't see the need to go through name by verse by verse and name by name for chapter 10. Um, if you uh, want, you can go through, but what would be interesting again is to see a flow chart and this mapped into an actual earth. Okay, so, um, that's it for chapter 10. Um, it's more record keeping the document and uh, tomorrow I'll uh, take a look at chapter 11 and I appreciate you participating and have a great day <music>